The majority of the Chicago area is now considered to be in a drought, and it's just getting worse. Yeah, look at the lawns around. Mm -hmm. You can see that for sure. So what can you do, though, to protect your trees and your plants to try to keep them green? Our Mike Kaplan live at the Chicago Botanic Garden with some tips and also the forecast. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hey there, Sylvia and Alan. I think everybody's trying to keep their gardens as healthy as possible this time of year. And as dry as it's been, it really takes a lot of work. And Heather Sherwood with the CBG is going to talk to us. First of all, you've been here for 12 years. Have you ever seen it this dry? No, I've never experienced the drought like we're experiencing right now. Yeah, so it's awful. Should we just abandon the lawns at this point, let them go dormant? Uh, I'd water maybe once a month, once every two weeks, an inch of water on your lawn but let it go dormant it's not going to die for a couple more months and hopefully before then we'll get a little rain all right so we're going to focus on trees shrubs perennials things like that what are some of the tools that you recommend people use and then we're going to talk about when to water and how much yeah my favorite thing is the water breaker water nozzle this is a handheld device that uh, is good for all applications try not to get the leaves too wet and then a couple of my other favorite ones off oh, the bubbler is one of my <laughs> favorites and this one is a diffuser of water so it lets water slowly seep out of it um, and it won't blow your soil out or around. And then you can go into some of your more common, like this is a ring water, does about a 10 by 10 square. Um, and of course, your impact sprinklers, these are the ones that you hear early in the morning going tick, 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 back and forth. All right, now this is a soaker hose. What would you use that for? This is what I use under trees and shrubs or long perennial borders, things that are newly planted within the last year or two, and it oozes water out yeah, really water slowly. Yeah, water just kind of trickles out of there. It goes to about six inches on either side to give you about a 12 foot spread around all your plant material. A lot of people are watering at the wrong time of day. When is the best time to administer the water in your yard? Early mornings um, in between 4, 5, 6 a.m. before the sun comes up or as the sun is coming up, not in the afternoons or evenings. Uh, 10 to 3 is the worst for evaporation of all of your water that you're putting down. And after about 5, 7 o'clock, the leaf material won't have time to dry and it's a really good time for period for fungus to set in. Okay, this time of year we want an inch to an inch and a half a week of water. How do you know how much that is? Oh, here's where your tuna can comes into, into play. An inch of water is basically filling this up. Every watering device is slightly different and everybody's water pressure is different. So when this is full and that amount of time is when you, you have the appropriate amount of water down. Outstanding. All right. In our next segment, we're going to show you how to properly water the trees using some cool trip tricks in your arsenal. Let's see if we got any rain in the forecast, Heather. And the short answer is maybe, but not anything very soon. Get the latest now on our weather forecast. Mike Kaplan standing by live from the Chicago Botanic Gardens with an update and some lessons for us, Mike. Hey, Mike. All right, we're going to tell you how to properly water your trees, and this will apply to shrubs as well. Heather Sherwood, let's talk about maybe what not to do, and you've got a device here and a demonstration of how to water poorly. Yes, uh, this is my water breaker, and it's the wrong time of day that, to be watering, but if you notice, if we put this water on here, oh, we don't really have too much pressure. It's not really soaking in too well. It's just running right off, and that's what we don't want. So we have some other fabulous toys to play with down here. Like this water bag. Which can be bought at any local big box store. Definitely. Okay, and they're very inexpensive. And how does this work? You actually wrap it around the tree. So you wrap it around the tree. It's got this fancy dancy oops, I'll help you out there. zipper right in the back side of it. What this does is it slowly waters the tree over about a week's time period. Definitely check it. And you just slip it in the slip a water breaker in the top and fill it up. And in just a second, we'll see this kind of puff out at the bottom and maybe leak or dribble very slowly. And this is a great watering method because it gets water specifically to the root zone of the tree and shrub, and you don't have to worry about watering it every day. This bag, if filled up, should last about five to seven days. Really? Um, so that's these little holes will slowly water your tree water and, and keep it going. Yeah. All right, well, do you think we could maybe get a little help from above. That would be nice. I, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I know a lot of gardeners like you, Heather, would love to get a little bit of rain in here. AccuWeather shows that tomorrow, though, we've got high pressure and control. It's going to be a beautiful day here. Nice, mild air. Temperatures will be in the 80s. All that hot air shunted off to the west for the time being. Temperatures now, delightful. Much cooler than they have been. We're only looking at low 80s across the area, even a few spots in the 70s. Satellite and radar, not much prospect for much wave, even cloud cover. There are a few mid-level clouds, especially south and west of Chicago, but generally clear skies on the way for tonight. And take a look at the seven day. Again, I will reiterate the chance of rain this weekend isn't zero, but it is small. We'll take anything we can get. Definitely hotter weather coming back. Hope some of these tips will help you out with your gardening at home. Remember the best time of day to water those early morning hours. Sylvia and Alan, back to you. Okay. Great advice. Okay, Mike, thanks so much.